Keller's favorite because it involves sending Penn out of the building while he gets to stay here in our luxurious stage. Now, at a soon-to-be-disclosed location on the Las Vegas Strip, let's check in with Penn. Now it's time for Penn and Teller's world's most extravagant card trick. We could do a card trick in the studio, but no, we're out on the Las Vegas Strip. That's extravagant. That also means two crews. So we're doing an extravagant card trick for you. I'm going to do the card trick for, well, not just for one person. We'll find a couple. I want to find, uh, oh, you get your hands up. Sure, come on. Come on. And what's your name? Kelly. Hello, Kelly. You, you are a couple? Yeah, right? Mike. Mike, hello, yeah. Mike. Mike, Kelly. We're going to do a card trick for you, okay? Now, we have decks we use all the time. We've used hundreds of times for different tricks. We're going to start with a brand new deck because this is extravagant. So there, go over there and buy yourself a deck. And here's, this is CW's money. Uh, give it all to her. Give a nice tip. <laughs> Live large in Las Vegas. They're living in Las Vegas. They're buying a deck of cards right there. Okay, open it up if you can. Come on, yeah, come on from the shot here, yeah. Open it right up here. And we don't, we don't, we don't need the box. You're never going to use those again. It's extravagant. And shuffle them up if you like. Now, I'm not going to touch the cards at all. I want you guys to decide on one card. So go over there where I'm not looking and decide the two of you, any way you want to pick it, random or fan them out, anything you want to do. Now, Teller is back in the studio with three computer monitors. He only needs an iPhone, but it's <laughs> extravagant. He's got shopping and other stuff he's doing, but there's one app on there that'll tell what card is missing from a perfect card fan. The only thing I have to do is a perfect card fan. I think I'm up for it. You guys got a card? Got a, you got one? You can pull it out of the deck. Yeah, hold it up against your chest. Let me see it at all, okay? Now, uh, how did you pick that card? You chose it. You chose it at random? No, random? You, you chose it. You actually yeah. looked at it, right? Looks pretty good to me. You chose one card. You looked at it, chose it, and you both agreed <laughs> on what that card would be, right? You take the cards, put it back in the deck, and then give those cards a shuffle. See, nothing in my hands. Nothing in my hand. Give me the cards a shuffle. Uh, you, you, you've done well enough. Um, now, concentrate on the card. Think about it hard. I want you to do this together. I'm going to do this telepathically, OK? So first think of the number and then the suit. Number and then the suit. Like four. That is expensive. That's expensive. Four and spades. Is that right? Four spades? Four spades? Nicely done. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. That's pretty extravagant, huh? You get to keep a deck of cards with you when you go. And look at that. We ran the whole song. whole song goes. Back to Allison and Teller, and who knows, I might helicopter home. Oh. Well, now that our cart is full of world-class magicians, we're going to check out right now. But we'll be back with a new shipment of magic next week. Good night from Las Vegas. Woo!